Christmas is not a time nor a season, but a state of mind. To cherish peace and goodwill, to be plenteous in mercy, is to have the real spirit of Christmas. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to our splendid Christmas celebration. Hello. I am Jaima, along with me, Aradhya, no. Adharv, are your hosts for today's program. As the winter cold embraces us and the highly spirit fills the air, let's come together to kindle the spirit of love, hope and unity that Christmas stands for. It is a day that illuminates the world with the warmth of love, care and true sacrifice. It teaches the value of forgiveness and affection even for enemies. It is a day when we derive pleasure by serving the needy, a day of true contentment, pure joy and serenity. It's Christmas. Please be seated. We warmly welcome we warmly welcome our United Citizens. It's a great honor to have Mrs. Lydia Princey, the VBS coordinator of GEMS organization, as our chief guest for today's celebration. By her side, we are accompanied by our reward secretary, Mr. Charles Holson, serving as a spiritual guide and inspiring presence for us. Furthermore, among us, we have esteemed principal, Mrs. Deborah Charles, as a formidable motivator, constantly encouraging us for his the greater heights. In tandem with them, we have Mrs. Angel Jasmine and Mrs. Nishana Parveen, our assistant headmistress, who collaborate seamlessly in the all activities of our school. Esteemed teachers who mold our destiny and illuminate our days, beloved parents, guardians, and of course, our stu cherished students in our midst. We are delighted to have each one of you here. And I extend a warm welcome on behalf of Gems English School to partake in this event. It is a joyous moment for all of us. Let's begin our program with prayer. Let the prayer be rooted in the love, power, and knowledge of Jesus. I request everyone to join the prayer. I request our secretary, sir, to do the opening prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you have given to us. Lord, you created us. You created this world. And you have sent your son to save us from the sin. And today we are remembering the day that the Lord has come to this world. Lord, I thank you for this day. Then I commit everything in your mighty hand. I commit every program, children, parents, guests, everyone in your mighty hand, Lord. Let your love impact the children. Let your peace impact the children. Let your hope and joy impact and intrude the hearts of everyone, those who are here, Lord. I commit every participants, those who are going to do the program here, Lord. You bless them, guide them. I commit everything in your mighty hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, sir, for your celestial spirit-filled prayer. You have made us feel glorious. It is rightly said, Christmas magic is silent. You don't hear it, you feel it. So this is going to be a great day. We have a variety of program for all of you which will fill the ambience with festive colors. So you should get ready to witness a grand celebration. Coming together is a beginning. Staying together is a progress. And working together is a success. Addressing the gathering is not a ritual. It's respect with gratitude. As rightly said, I request Amla ma'am to address the gathering. Welcome address by Amla ma'am. Christmas is not a time nor season, but a state of mind to cherish peace and goodwill. To be plenteous in mercy is to have the real spirit in Christmas, said Calvin Coolidge. A very glittering and illuminating day to everyone present on this blissful morning. We warmly welcome you all to this beautiful Christmas festival of the year. Christmas is an event that everyone is eagerly waiting for. It is a day of true sacrifice, warm love, and heartfelt care. Christmas is a festival that teaches the value of forgiveness and affection, even to the hard-hearted. It is indeed my honor and privilege to deliver welcome address on this auspicious day. First of all, I like to thank and welcome our God Almighty for his presence and guidance to make progress in this program. On this special day, 
I take immense pleasure in welcoming our Honorable Chief Guest, Mrs. Lydia Princey, VBS Coordinator of Gem, GEMS Organization. Welcome you, ma'am. Her journey began in GEMS in 2011, and since then, she has been involved in children's ministry, marking the start of an incredible chapter at GEMS. She has completed her BTEC, and at present, she is pursuing a Master's in Family and Counseling Ministry. Her passion has evolved leading her to actively engage in family and counseling ministry. We wish her a wonderful journey of learning and service. I'd like to extend a hearty welcome to our uh, guest of honor, Mr. Jonathan Edward, who is uh, serving as a field facilitator in GEMS. Welcome you, sir. Next, uh, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to our well-regarded secretary, Mr. Charles Hulzen, who has been the pillar of support to this institution. Welcome you, sir. In this way, I feel pleasure to welcome our beloved principal, Mrs. Deborah Charles, who unfold teachers and students' hidden talents and creativity and bring them up. Welcome you, ma'am. I welcome our dearest teachers who not only teach within four walls, but also beyond that by making the learning more fun and interactive with your utmost love and affection. Behind the success of great event, there are people who do common works in uncommon ways. I would like to welcome our non-teaching staff. Parents are the angel world for a child. God's love is reflected in a parent's love. With great desire, I welcome all the parents who have made efforts to bless us with their presence. Last but not the least, a lovable welcome to our dear students. You are the precious pearls of the society and building blocks of the nation. Your cuteness, frankness, innocence, discipline, and uniqueness decorate this great institution. Welcoming you all with our open arms to this cherishing Christmas event. Thank you, ma'am, for a table full of welcome. The Bible says, let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. It's time to praise our almighty God. Our God Jesus Christ, who is always faithful and loving. Let's sing goodness of God. Here comes our beautiful girls with their elegant moves to praise our God Almighty. Choreography by Senior Girls. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your head From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head Oh, I will sing Of the goodness of God Oh, I 
Exhibition girls, thank you for such an astounding performance. Now we are delighted to introduce our school young energetic dancers who will fill the stage with their incredible energy and heartfelt performance. These talented kids with their boundless enthusiasm are going to dance on the song It's Christmas. So get ready to be charmed by our little dancers as they take us on a journey of love, happiness and celebration through their joyful dance. Welcome dance by little munchkins.
चर्च में कैरल गीत गाए जा रहे हैं जीजस का जन्मदिन मना रहे हैं इस बड़े दिन मुझको भी कुछ बतलाना है संग संग प्यार को निभाना है आप सभी को क्रिसमस की बहुत बधाइया धन्यवाद गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन माई नेम इज प्रियांशी दुबे फ्रॉम क्लास थर्ड बी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू सिंग टेल यू ग्रेट पोएम द क्रिसमस डे lights are blinking and the stars are twinkling with the moon giving light that serves by through the night a feast in the table to be served in every home time to celebrate the night with these lovely people as the christmas song plays the children caroling the way feel the spirit of christmas through everyone's good heart christmas lights and trees how wonderful it really is place the gifts under a tree for the children's want to see thank you thank you friends for your marvelous recitation music will act like a magic key which will open the tightly closed hearts let us begin the morning with a melody the choir has prepared a beautiful medley of christmas carols to share i extend an invitation to our esteemed teachers to join us on stage let us turn our attention to their melodious voices as they present a song performed by the dedicated staff of our school song by our school staff <laughs> Christmas, what is the king? Hallelujah! What is the king? Is Christmas? 
comments. That was truly celestial music. Almost like the angel up above harmonizing in joy. Wasn't that absolutely mesmerizing? Yes, it was. Today, the senior members of our school choir will sing a beautiful song filled with devotion to praise our Savior and Lord. Now it's time for the school choir for the splendid presentation. Group song by school choir.
Then let's invite our boy. Fusion dance by boy. <laughs>
इम्प्रेसिव आई एम अटरली कैप्टिवेटेड योर परफॉर्मेंस वॉज ट्रूली आउटस्टैंडिंग हीच वन ऑफ यू शो के एक्सेप्शनल टैलेंट थैंक यू फॉर सच अ रिमार्केबल शो Telling a tale is a not in itself, but narrating it through the medium of song elevates to a truly magnificent art form. Prepare to be moved by the soulful rendition of the bow song title Yeshu Erakwala. Let the uplifting lyrics and beautiful melodious song resonate in our heart. Now get ready to witness our talented boys presenting a bow song in Hindi, accompanied by a musical instrument. Bow song by school boys. आप सभी को सुप्रभात आज हम लोग क्रिसमस की खुशी में यहाँ पे उपस्थित हुए हैं आज इस मंच पे हम कवाली प्रस्तुत करने जा रहे हैं जिसका शीर्षक है इशू है रखवाला तो भाई लोग आज हम लोग यहाँ पे क्या गाने आए हैं कवाली गाने आए हैं क्या गाने आए हैं कवाली तो अर्च किया है क्या अर्च किया है जिनको आँखों से हमने ना देखा कभी
absolutely phenomenal. Your rhythm and eloquence transported us into a realm of imagination. Kudos to each one of you boys. That was truly mind-blowing. Next up, we have the true spirit of Christmas. A group of our young geniuses who will be presenting a thought-provoking skit titled The Pilgrim's Progress. Join our talented actors as they take us on a journey of faith and self-discovery. We have a special treat for our pilgrimage play performed by our enthusiastic children. It's a reminder of the story that tells the life of humans and its journey towards heaven. Let's welcome our little stars on stage. Now skit by boys and girls. Today we are going to see the world that is fully suffering with sin. Here comes our hero Mr. Christian. He discovered a heavy burden upon his shoulders after reading a strange book. He knew he must rid himself of this weight and escape the coming doom of the city of destruction. What happened to him? Did he get rid of his burden? Come, let us see. Beta, Betty, idhar aao. Our city is going to be destroyed. Please come along with me. Let us run and escape from this place. Papa, why are you telling like this? Who told that? It is given in this book. We have to move as quickly as possible from this place. Oh, this burden. It also weighs more. Papa, that's just a book. Don't trust that. It's not true. No, I believe in this book. Whether you are coming along with me or not, I am going. Papa, please listen. Don't go, Papa. Please, Papa. Papa, please listen. Don't go, Papa. Please, Papa. Please, Papa. Hey, who's there? What happened? Oh, this burden. I can't bear this. I'm coming from the city of destruction. Vinaska Sahar. I want to get rid of this burden. Can you help me? Yes, I can. As you said, your city is going to be destroyed soon. Your goodness, you came out of that. And I know where you can get rid of this burden. Then please tell me, sir. I will go there. I don't want this burden. See the narrow gate? No, sir. I can't see anything like that. Are you able to see a feeble light at the horizon? Yes, yes. I am able. Go towards that light. That is your destiny. Don't turn here and there. You will find a way to get rid of your burden near that. Thank you, sir. You also have this burden? Yes, I am Mr. Christian and I am traveling towards the narrow gate by following the feeble light to get rid of my sin burden. Kya hum saath mein chale? Oh, na 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 na. Main apne hi marg mein chalunga aur mera marg hi alag hai. I'll never follow anyone and I don't have habit of obeying anyone. I'll do what seems correct to me. So if you can, you follow me. Oh sorry sir I'm going in my way Tum akele ja rahe ho agar tumko koi pareshan karega tumhe dikkat hai isliye mera naam le lena sab mujhse darte hain mera naam le loge to wo tumhe chhod denge Thank you sir Okay see you bye bye dear young man i think you are so tired where are you from and where are you going my name is krishan mai vinas ke shahar se hu i am going to the narrow gate where i can get rid of my sin burden and uh, you didn't tell about yourself i am mr worldly wise sansarik buddhiman i am the wisest person in the world no one in the world can stand in front of my knowledge Oh nice to meet you sansarik buddhiman but i don't have time to talk with you my time is too short oh mr pity young man you look so tired 
I know one place where you can relax and forget about your burdens. Really? But I don't have time. I am sure you will like that place. Come with me. I will take you there. Go and enjoy. You have everything. Games, social media, music, movies and everything. छोड़ मत देना आज यहाँ से जिंदा निकलना भाई अरे हमारे सरकार जो ऐसी कोई तलवार नहीं हमारी दोस्ती को जाड़े पबजी में ऐसा कोई हथियार नहीं भाई गोली लग गई भाई मुझे गोली लग गई भाई 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 पोचिंग की भी मेरी कब्र से लगी आज भाई नहीं तू मेरे पास आ नहीं कुछ नहीं होगा तुझे तू मेरे पास आ मेरे बात करता हूँ नहीं नहीं तू मुझे रिवाइव करने आना तो वो तुझे भी मार देंगे भाई तू अपनी जान बचा बस बस मेरी माँ के पैर छू लेना भाई तू मेरी तरफ से अरे तू खुद छू लेना अपनी माँ के पैर कुछ नहीं होगा तुझे इधर आ नहीं नहीं तू नहीं मर सकता मेरे भाई तू नहीं मर सकता अभी तो तेरा किल काउंटर स्टार्ट भी नहीं हुआ था आज तुम तुम्हें से कोई जिंदा नहीं जाएगा सब मरेंगे एक एम का चार का छोट का हम सब बदला लेगा तेरा इंडस्ट्रो त्रिवेदी My dear young man, we want to give you something. This is our gift to you from the city of entertainment, Manoranjan Kashar. Ha 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 ha. You told me I would be relaxed here, but but what are you doing now? Yes. This relaxation is temporary. Ha ha ha. Go from this place. I am Miss Discipline, Shushri Anushashit. May I know who are you? I am Mr. Christian. I want to get rid of my sin burden. Ek sansarik buddhiman ne mujhe dhokha diya, mera bojh aur badha kar. I think you have wasted your time in the city of entertainment. That's why you got this burden. I know one person who can help you. She is in the nearby city called City of Good Works, Bhale Kamo Ka Sheher. Surely she will help you. Come along with me. Anushasit, please help me. I am the 
judge of the city here you should obey all my words then only your burden will go away yes ma'am i am ready to obey tell me ma'am this is the city of good works you should do all good works every day you should help poor people go throughout the city without leaving anyone help everyone feed them and give them what they want but ma'am i am a poor person i don't have money to help them i can't help that many people please understand my situation if you can't do good thing this will be your reward from our city go out from here undisciplined and bad young man I am lost. I missed the path and I wasted my time. Now how can I get rid of my burden? Tell me what happened. God has sent me to help you. Parmeshwar ne mujhe tumhari madad karne bheja hai. To get rid of my sin burden, I was traveling towards the narrow gate. But in between, I saw sansarik buddhiman. He took me along with him to the city of entertainment, Manoranjan ka shahar. There I got more burden. Next I met with Anusha Seth. She took me to the city of good works. Bhale kaam hoga sir. There they told me to do more good works which we can't. So I failed. Now I have this burden of guilt also. Now my burden became more. I can't reach the gate. I'm lost. I'm lost. No, it's not like that. When you realize your mistake, God is ready to help you. and accept you dhyan se suniye is duniya mein hame zarur bhale kaamon ko karna chahiye lekin ve hamare paapon ka parihar nahi hai jo is prakar ke paap ke bojh ke sath hain ve bhale kaamon ko nahi kar sakte agar hum acche kaamon ko karna chahte hain to hame parmeshwar ke anugrah ki zarurat hai aur हमें इस बात को जानने की आवश्यकता है कि भले काम पापों के बोझ को हटाने का मार्ग नहीं है और परिहार भी नहीं है नाउ आई विल शो यू द पार बट बिफोर दैट यू शुड मीट वन पर्सन आई हैव सीन हिम ऑलरेडी ही वाज आल्सो अंडर द सेम बर्डन हे व्हाट हैपेंड टू यू मैंने अपना सफर अपना बोझ हटाने के लिए किया था लेकिन रास्ते में मुझे बहुत सारे व्यक्ति मिले जैसे सांसारिक बुद्धिमान और अनुशासित और मैंने अपना रास्ता खो दिया अब मैं अंदर फंस चुका हूँ बाई दिस टाइम आई हैव नो वे नो प्लीज कम आउट ऑफ दिस लेट एस ट्रेवल टूगेदर वी बोथ विल रीच देर नो माई टाइम इन दिस अर्थ इज ओवर Now I can't do anything, but Christian, you have enough time. तुम्हारे पास अभी काफी समय है. Don't listen to anyone. You are going the right way. Go to the narrow gate. That is the only place where you can get rid of your sin burden. वही वो जगह है जहाँ तुम अपने बोझ उतार सकते हो. There is no other way. Don't waste your time, Mr. Christian. Go run towards the gate. Run, Christian. Run, run. और लौट आओ कि तुम्हारे पाप मिटाए जाएं। 
जिससे प्रभु के शनमुख से विश्रांति के दिन आए और किसी दूसरे के द्वारा उद्धार नहीं क्योंकि स्वर्ग के नीचे मनुष्यों में और कोई दूसरा नाम नहीं दिया गया जिसके द्वारा हम उद्धार पा सके ईशु का लहू हमें सब पापों से शुद्ध करता है यदि हम अपने पापों को मान ले तो वह हमारे पापों को क्षमा करने और हमें सब अधर्म से शुद्ध करने में विश्वास योग्य और धर्मी है उद्यांचल अस्ताचल से जितनी दूर है उसने हमारे अपराधों को हमसे उतनी ही दूर कर दिया है तुम्हारे पाप चाहे लाल रंग के हो तो भी वे हिम के नाई उजले हो जाएंगे और चाहे अर्धवानी रंग के हो तो भी वे ऊन के समान श्वेत हो जाएंगे I am free. I am free. This is the crown of salvation. ये तुम्हारे उधार का मुकुट है. This is for you. Take this. I hope this drama resonates with you. Like the hero of this drama, we too are living with our burdens of sin. Are you interested in relieving yourself from the weight of sin? Do you want deliverance from your sinful life? Here is the only one who can deliver you from your sin. It is our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth and the life. He was born in this world to save you. Yaha ek matra hai. जो आपको आपके पापों से बचा सकता है वो हमारा प्रभु यीशु मसीह है जो मार्ग सत्य और जीवन है वो आपको बचाने के लिए इस दुनिया में पैदा हुआ था यीशु ने कहा ये सब परिश्रम करने वालों और बोध से दबे हुए लोगों मेरे पास आओ मैं तुम्हें विश्राम दूंगा Jesus says, Come to me, all of you who are tired from carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Are you ready to surrender your life to him? He is waiting for you. That performance really touched me. You did a marvelous job. Thank you for showing the true Christmas. Christmas is not only about presents and decorations but also about spreading love and goodwill. Let's take a moment to reflect on the true meaning of Christmas and remember those less fortunate days during the season. Now it's time to listen to our reputable chief guest Mrs. Lydia Princey, the VBS coordinator of the Gems organization. I kindly entreat the most eminent and noted persona on stage to deliver her valuable speech. Chief guest address by Lydia, Mrs. Lydia Princey. Good morning, everyone. It's truly an honor for me to be in your midst on this Christmas program. I hope you all enjoyed all the programs. I really enjoyed it much. I enjoyed all the colorful dances and the meaningful skits and the songs. Did you enjoy? It warms my heart to see the excitement and enthusiasm in your faces. Are you excited? On this occasion, we are going to celebrate the Christmas, right? But it is essential to know the real meaning of Christmas. So I'd like to share a small story with you all. How many of you like to listen to stories? Only very few? Yeah, I see so many hands. 
you can put down your hands. I like little children a lot. Whenever I see kids, I would love to share stories with them. Even today, I'm going to share a story which tells us the real meaning of Christmas. This is an imaginary story which happened hundreds of years ago. It was a Christmas Eve, the evening before the Christmas day. There was a small boy who was six years old. He was very hungry and he was homeless. This story happened in a foreign country where it is filled with snow as it is winter. The small boy, he went into a town. As it was Christmas Eve, everyone in the town, they were getting ready for Christmas. Some were decorating their Christmas trees. Some were cleaning their houses. The mothers were baking cakes and cooking for the next day. That small boy, he went and knocked the door of a house. But the people inside the house was so busy, they couldn't even listen to the knock in the door. They didn't answer the door. The boy became really sad and he moved on to the next door. Again, he was hungry and the climate was so cold. He was not even having proper clothes to make himself warm. So he was freezing and again he knocked the door. Some children peeped out of the window and they looked at him and his condition. He was poor, hungry and not having proper clothes. They said, oh no, we can't let you in. Our house will become dirty. So you go, go, go. We will not open the door for you. The poor boy again went to the next door and knocked. The mother who was busy cooking, she said, oh no, I am busy making cakes and food for the house. So I cannot come and answer the door. And slowly, one house after the other, the poor boy knocked every house in the town. But nobody answered him. And nobody helped him in any way. Finally, there was a small house, which was very small. There was no Christmas decorations in the house. But one mother and her small girl lived in the house. They had a small candle in their house and they were eating their dinner and praying and they were getting ready to go to bed. They didn't have Christmas tree, they didn't have Christmas lights and Christmas bells in their house. After praying, while they are getting ready to go to the bed, the little boy came and knocked the door. The mother and the girl, immediately, they thought somebody is knocking the door. They might have feeling cold outside. Come, let's go and open the door. They opened the door and saw this little boy. Immediately, they invited him inside the house and they gave him the food and some warm clothes and a clean bed to sleep with them. The next day morning, the whole town was busy getting ready for the Christmas. This poor mother and the girl also, they woke up and went and looked into the bed, but the bed was empty, where the boy was sleeping. Whom do you think the boy was? Yes, God came in disguise to see, do the people know the real meaning of Christmas? God doesn't care much about the Christmas decorations or beautiful lights or Christmas carols and celebration. God wants us to know the real meaning of Christmas. Yes, it is sharing with those who are in need. That is the real meaning of Christmas. Do you know where this sharing started? It started from God. God shared his one and only son with us to give us love, joy, peace and hope. As we saw in the skit today, 
Jesus came to this world to save us from sin, to deliver us from all the bondages. Yeshu Masi koi ek dharm ke liye is dunya mein nahi aaya. Koi ek dharm ke logon ke liye nahi aaya. Is dunya ke saare logon ko paap se chudane ke liye, shraap aur bandhan se chutkara dene ke liye aaya hai. If we believe in him, he will truly give us the love, joy, peace and hope. That's the reason. Yehi karan hai, hum log Yishu Masi ka janam din ko Christmas ke roop mein manate hain. Jarur hum log decorate karte hain, Christmas tree mein light sajate hain. Lekin, uska such karan yehi hai. आप लोग बोल सकते हैं हम लोग छोटे बच्चे हैं हम लोग के पास ज़्यादा पैसा नहीं है पैसा मम्मी पापा ही रखे हैं हम लोग कैसे दूसरों को शेयर करेंगे करके इट इज नॉट अबाउट मेटीरियल गिफ्ट और प्रेजेंस पैक्ड इन कलरफुल रैपर्स इट इज अबाउट स्मॉल एक्ट्स ऑफ काइंडनेस यू कैन Share a thank you note with the driver baya who brings you in the bus. You can share a warm smile with the security guard who protects you whenever you are in school. You can share a warm hug to the didi who takes care of you when you are around in the school. These small gestures, these small act of kindness make a very big impact in the society that we live in. It makes this world a better place to live in. That gives the real meaning of Christmas. I want you all to follow this, not alone in this season, but throughout the year, wherever you go, in your homes, in the school, in the community, share love and lend a helping hand to all around you. With this note, I wish everyone present here a Merry Christmas and a New Year filled with love, peace, joy and hope and countless opportunities to share the love with the world. Thank you. Children, now we are going to honor our chief guest with a small gift as a token of love. Shall we all put our hands together to thank our chief guest? Now I request our guest of honor, Mr. Mr. Uh, Edis Jonathan, come on the stage. Just we are going to honor him. I request our secretary, sir, to honor him. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your gripping and emotive words of insight. We are privileged to hear your words of wisdom. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. As we draw the curtains on this remarkable event, to extend our heartfelt gratitude, I request Kumaran sir to deliver the vote of thanks. Vote of thanks by Kumaran sir. Christmas is not much as about opening our presents, as opening our hearts. It's a season of love, peace, joy and happiness. I hope you all enjoy the permanent performance of the, our school students. It's my honor and privilege to give a word of thanks to all those who have helped to make this occasion happen. First and foremost, I would like to thank our Almighty God for bringing us as a one family to celebrate His birth, filled with the joy and happiness in our hearts. On behalf of the organization, I would like to extend my heartfelt Gratitude, our esteemed chief guest, Mrs. Lydia Princey, web coordinator of GEMS organization, for accepting our invitation and for being here with us today. Thank you, ma'am. Your thought has truly inspired us. Our beloved secretary, sir, Mr. Charles Olsen, and our honorable principal, ma'am, 
He says, Tebora Charles, who gives us the freedom to bring out the best in us. Thank you, sir, and thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> it's not something that happened overnight. A week ago, the wheels began to turn. It necessitates forethought and a keen eye for a detail. We have been lucky enough to have the support of a team to provide it and devote members of our teachers who are experts in their field. I am at a loss for a words of expressing my gratitude for their participation and willingness to do things outside their comfort zone. We express our all felt gratitude, our dedicated teachers for their tireless work. Thank you, teachers. <clears throat> our sincere thanks to all our non-teaching staffs who are always ready to help by doing selfless service with a great smiles. Thank you so much for all the parents and well wishes of your unwavering support and encouragement. Children cannot achieve excellence without your help. Thank you so much for taking the time to come to this e event. Further, I would like to convey my gratitude to our aspiring rock stars for their outstanding performance and that made this event a success. Your action reflects your days of hard work. Then the presentation were excellent and thoroughly we enjoyed them. I specifically thank the people who have been the backbone of this event. Finally, I extend my gratitude to the media department for valuable time and effortless work. Christianity is not a religious, but a way of life and way to everlasting life. We wish you all this advanced, happy Christmas and New Year. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, sir, for your gentle words of gratitude. We would like to begin by extending our warmest Christmas greetings to all of you. Christmas is a time for togetherness, reflection, and celebration. It's day to remember the birth of Jesus Christ and a day to celebrate cherish the love and goodwill that fills the air. Christmas is a blessed season that unites the world in a conspiracy of love. Remember, Jesus is the true reason for the joyful season. Now, our school's lively dancing angels are here to spread joy, merriment, cheer, extending warm wishes for a joyful and blessed new year. Presenting Christmas wishes through the graceful performance of our dancing angels. <laughs>
पल है खुशियों का आओ लहराए हम जीवन के सरगम पे तुन ऐसे गाए हम ये उत्सव अपनों का यू जश्न मनाए हम अंबर से तारों को लाके घर को सजाए हम The spirit of love and joy was palpable, and we truly enjoyed every moment. So let's gear up and cheer up for their performance. Now, Punjabi dance, my boys. <laughs> हम 
ना डरते घबराते कभी किसी से हम हर पल हम मुस्काते चाहे कितने भी हो गम हम सबका वो रखवाला सिर्फ एक यीशु हमारा हम सबका वो रखवाला सिर्फ एक यीशु हमारा आजा उसे तू चख ले चख के देख ले आजा उसे तू चख ले चख ले चख के देख ले ओ मेरा यीशु सबसे प्यारा इस जग में वो सबसे न्यारा मेरा यीशु सबसे प्यारा इस जग में वो सबसे न्यारा हे 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 आजा उसे तू चख ले